Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of <coughs> Easter Sunday, the resurrection of the Lord. Let's join our voices together and sing number 175, Alleluia, Alleluia, number 175. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We begin our Mass today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together, we take a moment and call to mind our sins and ask Almighty God for forgiveness. For those times that we have sinned against God, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times that we have sinned against others, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times that we have sinned against ourselves, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We 
praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of the will. For you, O Lord, are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the And let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness 
that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. I thank you, your love is eternal. You have given me life, you have given me life. I will proclaim the wonders you do. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. Your hand raised me up in triumph. You have given me life, you have given me life. I will proclaim the wonders you do. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. The stone which the builders rejected is the cornerstone, is the cornerstone. I will proclaim the wonders you do. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out all the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, 
but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Recently, PBS concluded the fourth season of All Creatures Great and Small, a beloved series that many of us have been following. It chronicles the life of a small group of veterinarians at the onset of World War II, living in Yorkshire, England. On the first episode of the fourth season, it's Easter Sunday, and James, one of the veterinarians, is taking advantage of one of the first beautiful spring days driving along the countryside when he almost hits a boy and his dog crossing the street. After that moment of panic, the boy unleashes on James, yells at him, and then eggs his car and walks off. But as he does, the veterinarian notices the boy's dog and can tell that there's something wrong with the dog. The dog is sick. Later on, he sees the dog tied up outside in the village. He approaches the dog and immediately recognizes the problem. The dog has distemper. But when he's crouched down trying to examine the dog to help, the little boy whose name is Wesley sees him, sneaks up around him, punches him in the nose, leaves him flat on his back with his nose bleeding. He unhooks the dog and he yells at James. He says, stay away from me and stay away from my dog. Now, I think at that point, most of us would say, okay, we've done our best. We've tried. We're not going to bother with that little snot anymore, <laughs> nor his dog. But James was not like that. He found out where the boy lived, and he paid a home visit. He entered the neighborhood and realized the poverty that that boy Wesley and his dog Duke were living in. Tiny little houses, little cottages on muddy roads with thatch roofs. He knocked on the cottage door, and James opened the door, saw the vet, and the vet tried to reassure him. He said, look, your dog is sick, and I'm just here to help. At that, the boy slammed the door in James's face. So James felt he had no choice but to report the dog to the authorities so they could remove the dog and place the dog in a loving home where he would get the care that he needed. But before the authorities arrived, James decided one more time to knock on the door. This time, neither the boy nor his dog were home. Wesley and Duke were out, and his grandmother opened the door and chatted with him. She said to him, know something, that for Wesley, Duke is not only his best friend, but Duke is the only friend that that boy has. And he treats that dog better than he treats himself. He will oftentimes not eat so Duke can have dinner. And sure enough, as James looked in the dimly lit cottage, he saw a clean dog bed, a water bowl, and a food bowl with the boy's pork pie waiting for Duke when he returned. James called off the authorities and went back to his practice. And that's when the Easter miracle took place. Wesley and Duke made their way to the vet clinic, finally seeking help. James was able to give an injection to the dog and explain the care the dog needed. Wesley, in his poverty, 
wanted to pay something for that dog to be cared for. But there was no amount of little money that boy had that could ever come close to paying for the medical care that James was giving to the dog. And so he said, don't worry about it. But the boy really insisted he wanted to do something. And so James had an idea. He put the boy to work, cleaning out the stalls of the animals, feeding them, and caring for them. He did such a remarkable job, he was given more and more responsibilities. It was the beginning of a new and resurrected life for both Wesley and Duke. Today, as we celebrate Easter Sunday, we can easily look at our own lives and we can see ourselves in Wesley. There's all been times in our life where we have slammed the door in God's face. There's all been times in our life where we've run away angrily from God and gone in the opposite direction from which he wants us to follow. There's all been times that our sins have caused blood to flow from Jesus on the cross. Yet, no matter how much we slam the door in God's face, how far we go, what sins we commit, the attitudes that we have that take us away from God, there is nothing we can do, no sin that we can commit, no attitude that we can have that prevents God from trying to reach us, that stops God from loving us, that puts a barrier between God finding different ways to knock on the door of our heart. No matter what your life has been like, no matter where it's been in the past, no matter what mistakes you have made, this is Easter Sunday. Today is a day of hope. Today is not only a day where we celebrate the historical resurrection of Jesus 2,000 years ago, but it's the day that we celebrate our new beginning, our new life that we have in Christ. Just like that boy wanted to pay James something for the care of that dog, but couldn't possibly do it because out of his poverty, there was no way he could have enough. Out of our poverty, there is no way we could ever repay God for what God has done for us. So the best way we can honor God is by living that life he wants us to live, a life free of guilt from past sins and mistakes a life filled with joy, with peace, with happiness, and with new hope and new life in Christ. So I pray that this Easter and always, the Lord fill you with the light of his life, peace, joy, and hope. Happy Easter, everyone. Dear sisters and brothers, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan, all his works, and all his empty promises? I do. I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
Together we now come before God with our petitions, trusting that he will listen to our prayers and needs. For all the faithful, may the Holy Spirit continue sanctifying and teaching us in the ways of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God guide them in the ways of peace and prosperity for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing struggles or adversity, may God strengthen their faith and pour out upon them his consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of this faith community, may the grace of the Holy Spirit make us courageous witnesses to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died with the hope of the resurrection, especially all of the parishioners of St. Barnabas, may God reward them with the eternal joy in his presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we place these petitions before you and we ask that you answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we present and prepare our gifts, let us sing Down to the River, number 656, 656. That's number 656. to the river to pray. As I went 
to pray, study the book that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, sinners, let's go down, let's go down, on down. Oh, sinners, let's go down, down to the river to pray. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that these, our gifts, will become acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. We will accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the glory of the Holy Church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with joy, every land and people exults in your praise. We join them in singing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit to graciously make holy these gifts, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And together we proclaim the mystery that is our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the gifts of your church and recognizing the victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, our patron, St. Barnabas, and the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. And in your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, and to our departed sisters and brothers, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. And together we now pray using the words our Savior has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we pray that you deliver us from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days so that by the help of your mercy, we will always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. and let us offer to each other some sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We'll sing number 581, Worthy is the Lamb, number 581. One hundred and seventy one, it's called Alleluia, Love is Alive, number one seventy one. People of God, see the morning is new. Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see. Come and see, he is alive. A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who was with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Alleluia, love 
And let us pray. Looking upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, we may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. A few announcements. First, um, we have blessed holy water that was blessed at the Easter Vigil yesterday. So if you'd like, you could take a bottle of holy water home with you um, to use throughout the year or whenever you would like. Also, a special round of thank yous. First, a thank you to the crew who decorated our church so beautifully throughout all of Holy Week and Easter. Thank you to you. Thank you to the choir who has produced such beautiful music, not just during Easter, but throughout the entire year. Thank you to you. And (laughs) do you ever have the feeling that somebody is standing in back of you, (laughs) staring at you? I had that feeling, right? Whoa! (laughs) It's the Easter Bunny, everybody. The Easter Bunny has a special invitation for all of you to go downstairs and see the Easter Bunny right after Mass. So let's go down and see the Easter Bunny. Thank you so much. (laughs) The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love, for that is the only way to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And happy Easter again, everyone. Same thing. Happy Easter, Father. And let us go forth from our celebration, singing together number 172, Jesus Christ is risen today, number 172. Jesus Christ is risen today. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffer to redeem our loss, Alleluia. Hymns of praise then let us sing, To Christ our Happy heavenly King, Alleluia. Who endured the cross and prayed, Alleluia. Sinners to redeem and save, Alleluia. Will she just collapse? Oh. Went out and then she was screaming. Oh my God! Oh, take care, take care. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Have a wonderful Since day. Since the last time you saw an Easter bonnet. Oh, uh, a while. Yes. Hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Take care. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. It's my little family from New York. Cause oh, you go to the same time. Nice. Oh, oh, where nice, I go? Nice. I lost oh. it. You lost oh, there him. he is. Right oh, there. Coming out. We okay. met him last year. Yes, and how are you? He's Happy in the Easter. ROTC. Nice. That's Sawyer and his brother, Jax, and my husband. Nice. <laughs> well, happy Easter, guys. Take care. Hello, oh, how are you? Got it. Oh. Production. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, I'm glad you did. So, yeah, in person, yes. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Happy Easter. Take care. Happy Easter to you. Bye. Hey, John. Happy Easter. God bless. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Take care. Happy Easter to you. Take care. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Take care. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Take care. God bless. Take care. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. 
Hey, how are you? Happy Easter. Hey, how are you? Happy Easter to you too. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Take care. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Mike. How are you? Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter. Take care. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Father. Great job again. Oh, thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. You too. Hello, how are you? Happy Easter to you. We've got the Easter tie out. I like it. Happy Easter. Yeah, I got it for Big E. Cost you a whole oh, oh, wow. He's and got you, a ton of ties there and he didn't have a shop. And you bring it out once a year. year. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Actually, I work for uh, Good Buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, fitting. Happy Easter. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Easter. Did you say hello? Happy Easter. Yes, I know, I know. I, know. I say the Lord is risen and I am yes. dead. <laughs> Take care. Happy Easter. How are you? Nice. Welcome back. How are you? How's life? How's things? Awesome. So what's the plan for Easter? Nice. Well, enjoy. Thanks so much for coming and good seeing you. All righty, take care. Are you drilling next weekend? No, I don't have to go back to drilling. Oh, that's right. The leave time. Nice. All right. Sounds good. Take care. Hey, you too. Wow. I saw.